Hi there, YouTubers, and uh, welcome back. And as you can tell, it's night time. Um, probably not a good idea to try and do this in the dark, uh, but we are going to be looking, and uh, this is going to be extremely difficult to see, but uh, it's the Excite 2, and we're going to do the night, uh, night capabilities on this to see how we get on. Um, and again, many thanks for all of the comments. Um, we're almost at the 100 subscriber level at the time of recording this. Um, it's great fun and I love doing this. And we can hear some fireworks going off as well. It's a nice clear night. We've got about a quarter of a moon out. And um, I've got the, the backlights of the house on at the moment, so you can just about make me out. But what we're going to do is we're going to do some videos um, from now on until you see me again. Everything you're going to see is going to be taken from the night scope on the actual site itself uh, with the free IR illuminator that they give and we'll switch the illuminator on and off and we're even going to do some target shooting at night. Now I know that I think behind me is safe, um, I will be shining lights around just to make sure that there's nothing there before I start shooting as well. All the usual warnings, I'm making sure I'm totally safe because I know there's some haters out there that will comment and say some silly things because I have nothing else to do but that's free. Feel free to put them down there, post, like, anything you want, just feel free to put any comments down. And I always look at them and I'll try to reply to them as well. So, with that out of the way, um, I will see you again at the end of the video uh, to give you some thoughts on how this all went. Okay, and welcome back. And here we are in nighttime capabilities. We're not totally dark at the moment, and the noises you can hear because it's Saturday night near bonfire so we're not totally dark at the moment um, but you'll notice the first thing straight away is the image is pretty clear let's just get a bit more focus on this and yeah we're, we're there we'll focus on that so the image is pretty clear and I'm pointing at a target that is about 20 meters away what I'm going to do is we're just going to zoom in and as we've seen before I'm expecting this to become a bit more pixelated now I'm hoping it's actually going to be better because of the green light and it might mask some of that pixelation out so we're just zooming in at the moment and there we are, we're up to 14 times and we're just focusing a bit more and yeah, we have still got pixelization and I expected that now the way that this IR system works is it's basically, as with any digital camera you have an IR infrared filter and a very simple way to make a night scope uh, is to open a camera up and take that filter out and shine an IR torch and you suddenly magically got a night scope add a bit of green contrast on it and that's how it works well this camera works pretty much the same way but instead of ripping the night filter out the night filter is on like a, on a switch and the IR filter is on a switch so when you actually switch between night and light mode you hear this clicking noise and that's the filter flipping it in and out of the way and of course then they put a green or a white contrast you can set in the menu you spot an IR torch on and that's what you get so I'm just going to zoom back down now and that's all the way down to the bottom of my range and we're just coming back out now and of course we can see the reticle moving as well what I'm going to do is just going to scan around the garden so I can clearly make out the plastic fencing the target at the bottom this really bright light we've got in front of us that is of course if I have a bush not too far away from me about two meters in front of me and I'm getting a lot of reflection off the IR torch on that um, I'm going to switch the IR torch off and we'll see what happens and as you can see we can hardly see anything now I'm on low sensitivity uh, for in the nighttime mode on, under the settings of the scope um, I have tried setting that up to high um, it hasn't hardly made any difference and I find low with the torch on works nicely we increase the torch the IR on the torch intensity so we're at the maximum there and we'll drop it down a bit and it's not really to be honest making that much difference and we can zoom the torch in a bit now when we zoom it in we are getting some interference you can just make out like a, a light cone uh, where the tor torch is zooming in so we can see it is zooming in there quite nicely uh, we'll bring that back out again and we'll just move around the garden and have a look around and obviously the rifle is not loaded at the moment and I'm very conscious of what's in the garden I've done a full check, a proper check the dog's inside and I've got no rifle, no pellets loaded or anything here and we'll just look around and we'll go up into the top of the tree lines and yep yeah, quite nice so that top of that tree is about 30 meters away I'm not saying we've got a nice clear sky at the moment and we'll just come along the top of the tree line now the field of view that you get is the same as in the daytime field of view and I believe that's nine degrees what I'll do is I'll post a link to all the specifications of this 
the 3 to 14 scope and the uh, and the 5 to 20 scope I'll post a link or maybe just put them up on screen cut and paste them into the video you can see you know I'm quite impressed with that that's quite nice uh, that's quite good there now before I put the scope onto the rifle I did have a quick play with this and um, I had the dog sat out in the garden and um, you could see perfect details on him um, eyes obviously nice and bright eyes uh, which is one of the nice things about IR still zooming back out but I'm impressed with that and that's pretty good alright good boy who's your daddy <laughs> good lad who's your daddy yeah. good boy come on then yeah, well then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to have a little target shoot and see how we get on. So I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to set myself up. Um, I'm going to check to make sure that we're totally clear down range, and then we're going to have a quick little target shoot. Um, I'm going to pop five or six rounds down, or maybe even 14 rounds down into the target down there, and see how we do. Okay, so that's the first shot. That looks like we hit the target, no problem. I think I can even make the shot out. Yeah, we can even see the pallet going through. Oh, they're noisy. I picked the perfect night to do this. So. I think we'll do all 14 out of the magazine with the cricket here. And as usual, if you want to see the previous videos, the unboxing and the setup of the scope, uh, take a look at the links that I will post and also the ballistics and the zeroing and the ranging. Oh, that was uh, the previous video. And this seems to be going okay at the moment. And so this is the first time I've ever done any night -night shooting. Lost count of how many shots. Well, this grouping is looking okay at the moment. I think I messed that one up. Okay, another test that I've been asked to do is uh, regarding really short range, for example when ratting. Um, they mention in that because the scope is so tall off the rail, so three inches from the centre of the optics to the barrel, that it would make close range shooting practically impossible. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this out and see what happens. So I'm sat at five metres here, and that's practically about as close as I think you're going to want to get to a rat. Um, with rangefinder and it's 4.8 metres. Uh, with the target literally just in front of me, so we're going to give this a go. It's a slight downhill because um, it's in, on the garden, but you know, we're down by 10 or so degrees. So it's good for the ballistics calculator to see if it can work this out as well. So we're going to give this a go and see how we get on. And that is smack in the middle. I can see that from here. So, yes, you can close range. That's under five meters. Uh, I can't see a problem with that whatsoever. Um, so, you can get rid of those fears. 
I'm telling you, if it's less than five meters away, you can pretty much pick the rifle up and hit it with the stick. So we'll stop there with that, um, because of <laughs> it's not much fun shooting really close to you like that. Um, it's got a lot darker now. Uh, the fireworks seem to have quietened down for a little bit, um, but we're looking quite good at the moment. And again, we'll just go back out and refocus up onto our target. I'm just going to sit down, <laughs> and we're going to see how well this night scope actually works. Let's get the uh, focus sorted out. Okay, so I'm looking just in front of me there, um, where I'm starting to lose the actual contrast, is approximately 50 odd meters away from me. There is a tree down right at the bottom of that hill and I cannot make that out. I come closer. That's 20 to 30 meters out, I can see. You can see the, tra the tra traffic in the back. That's the road at the bottom. Just about to make the trees out down there. Let's get this focus in again. Yeah. Increase the intensity. And no, my maximum range here. I would say is 30 to 40 meters with the built-in IR. Now obviously if we had a proper IR lamp, uh, one that we could zoom in properly, we would see a lot more. Let's try and zoom this in. Right, so that's the lamp torched in, zoomed in as much as possible. Yeah. I will really struggle. Now I know there's a farmhouse over here. I can just about make out the farm. And that is a hundred yards away. That farm buildings we can see there. So I just really wanted to give a quick test and just about make out the buildings. Yeah, that's 100 metres away. 100. Uh, it's about 100 metres away, that, those buildings. So we can see them there. And we'll just scan around a bit. Yeah. So, proper structures. Yes, you can see with the standard torch about a hundred meters and it's not properly dark at the moment. Now I still do have this on low intensity uh, for the sensitivity so it's down on low. Um, it might help if I crank that up a little bit but I don't think it's going to make that much difference. But um, no doubt if you put a proper IR torch on here you will see a lot lot more. And I don't think it's the camera that's got the problem, it's just my torch here. But, like I said, that was pretty much well known before we even got any further with this. Hi, and uh, welcome back to the warmth of the house. Uh, the uh, fireworks are still going off, and uh, it's madness out there at the moment. So I thought it was probably a good time to do some uh, plinking when nobody could really hear it. So, um, hopefully you liked that quick mashup of some videos, night, um, videos that I did. All of that was recorded uh, the sound and obviously the video with the scope. The only thing that I did do was in the video production was just bump up the audio gain, the volume by 15 decibels just to make it a little bit clearer on the video. But overall I'm quite impressed with the actual quality there. I've used um, image intensifiers before many many years ago back in the army days uh, but this is the first time I've used a commercially available night scope um, and I'm solidly impressed. Now Rifles unloaded for all of you guys that love to point out safety all of the time. Um, and all of that was shot using the standard built in IR that ATN supply with the scopes. Um, and you can see that when we went out into an open field, we, we were getting, I'd say, 40 to possibly 50 meters of usability out of that and it didn't really seem to matter how much I pressed with the intensity buttons on this IR unit or how much I changed the focus on it, it didn't really that make that much difference. Um, I was also using um, the, the cover and the light reducing adapter um, if I take these off obviously it will let more light in um, I didn't do that um, and I didn't play with the image sensitivity, uh, the nightscope sensitivity in the settings. So next time um, I'm out and uh, 
or I've got a bit of spare time, I'll play around with those, but I'm waiting for a properly good dark night to be able to do that to see how it goes. There are a lot of reports that this will work quite happily without an IR in uh, in low daylight as well, uh, without actually having to have the IR torch on. So the CCD must be quite sensitive in this camera. Um, we also did touched on the close range shooting as well, because I was asked about the the top, especially nighttime ratting, because they you tend to get quite close, and because of the distance from the centre of the barrel to the centre of the optics, in my case being three inches, that's quite tall. So when you're really, really close um, and you've got a target really close and you shoulder up the rifle, can the actual scope and the barrel align to each other to give you a shot or will it just always miss? So what we did in there is we just set the bullet characteristics up, obviously. Um, we set the range at 4.8 meters. The scope worked out exactly what to do with it and it worked perfect. Um, and that was 4.8 meters. You know, I don't think you're going to be shooting any closer than that, otherwise you might as well just get the rifle out and smack the ret on the head with it. So I can't really see it having any problems, and this is with the calibre as well, and you can see that the calibre, that's quite a high um, mount uh, railing system there. So um, certainly in my case, 4.8 metres, not a problem at all. It was absolutely perfect. Um, and you can see that with the two shots, they basically went into the same hole. Um, so. I think I covered most of the stuff there that I was asked. If you've got any more questions or anything, please uh, post them down below and I will more than happily answer them. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because of it. It does help. Yeah, this is a free channel um, and it might buy me a few tins of pallets in, in a year's time. I'm not going to make a fortune on this channel at all. Um, and uh, thank you very much and we'll see you next time for the next video and um, have a safe time and safe shooting.